G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Hey, I wanted to get this out to you guys as fast as I could as I'm super excited about just how well my geronometer worked. Now, the next sentence I'm about to say will trigger a few into pausing to comment. Now guys, please just hold off until I complete the sentence. It will stop you looking foolish in the long run. Now, the scientific experiments that my geronometer was designed to test has all the scientific rigor set out in this video here. I made it a few months ago and it detailed the dependent and independent variables and the hypotheses to test regarding the 24 hour sun in Antarctica and the final experiment. Okay, I will now pause and you can parrot off your usual tosh. Go. Are you done? Okay, now that you've got that off your chest, let me refresh you on the null hypothesis, which was this. And the alternative hypothesis, which was this. This led to a prediction for each hypothesis. For the null hypothesis, it was predicted that, that sometime between midday and midnight, the sun will set below the horizon or just go away and then rise above the horizon or come right back again. Oh, and as a bonus, all the globies there would be very sad. And as for the alternative hypothesis, it was predicted that the sun would be north at midday, west at 6 p.m., south at midnight, and east at 6 a.m and that the elevation angle of the sun would be above horizontal and would always be within the range of 13 to 33 degrees roughly and that the azimuth angle rate of change would be a consistent 15 degrees per hour thanks bob that led to a set of requirements that my scientific experiment needed to do now if you missed it i detailed just how i designed the geronometer in this video here the geronometer with two dials one to measure the azimuth angle and one to measure the elevation angle and the camera has a clock which i set to utc and that's all overlaid on the time lapse so dead easy to meet the recording requirements just video the face of the geronometer and the video camera timestamps each frame that's captured. It turns out, of course, this really isn't necessary as this is a sundial and that is a freaking clock in its own right. And before I get too far ahead of myself, how about we have a look at what we saw and thanks very much to Critical Think and Starlink for getting this to me straight away. That's via satellites, guys. Now, partway through the 24 hours, I asked Will to sign the face of the geronometer just to add some, you know, validation. And this is what it looked like after he signed it. Sadly, the mirror was not quite tipped far enough away to catch all of the signature. But it did see just a few bits of it suddenly appear. Now, Will signed the front face at about 9am using the sundial time or 1429 UTC according to the camera clock. I wonder if Will can send me the EXIF data for those two images. And Will come through, he just emailed me the original files. So I can look for myself at the EXIF date. So when was this file created? It will be just after he signed the geronometer. Hmm, let's have a look back up here. Time taken, perfect. Oh, what a goose I am yet again. It's also encoded in the file name, duh. Oh, and I saw him hanging around just before that too. Haha, <laughs> well spotted, young Will. Okay, back to the science and the prediction. This is what I predicted we would see. The red line is the globe Earth predictions and the blue line is the FLIRF predictions. Finally, I measured and recorded the azimuth angle of the shadow at the top of the hour and also measured and recorded the elevation angle as well. Now I popped these data into a spreadsheet to calculate and scale the hour angle into an azimuth degrees and then I plotted both dependent variables against time. And this is how it looked. Do I need to show the prediction now so you can nod along in approval at just how perfectly my data matches the globe earth predictions? I guess it's all that's left now is to state that the null hypothesis is not supported by the data and that the experiment does support the alternate hypothesis. Let me read out the null hypothesis predictions. The sun elevation angle will be below zero. The sun elevation angle will be below zero from sunset to sunrise. Hmm, nope, didn't do that. 
the sky will be dark. Yeah, nope. There will be stars visible in the sky. Um, nope. And the globies will be sad. Uh, definitely not. Now that just leaves the alternate hypothesis as the scientifically correct one that matches the experimental data. It predicted that the sun will circle in the sky. Yep, check. The sun will be north at midday and check. The sun will be west at 6 p.m. Check again. The sun will be south at midnight. Check. And the sun will be east at 6 a.m. And check again. The sun elevation angle will be between 13 and 33 degrees. Check. And the rate of change of the azimuth angle is 15 degrees. And that was consistent. Check. And the sun will be visible at all times. Double check. Oh, let me show you this now. I think this is really cool. I did a cut and paste of all the shadows from the top of the hour and put them all on one image. Now, ain't that pretty? So that's that then. I guess one thing is for sure, Flatties will be trying harder to twist facts to suit their beloved narrative. And let me thank all those that helped me get the Geronometer to Union Glacier and to get the data back to me so fast via Starlink. And let me finish up by showing MC Toon checking out the little white box that could. Thanks, guys. This is the Geronometer set to Critical Think by Where's Wally. It's got two sundials on it. One of them is tipped. This one is tipped at 10 degrees because we're 10 degrees from the pole. And so this shadow will be the same length all the time. This one is not tipped, so the shadow grows and shrinks. It's got a levelometer on it. It's got two directionometers on it. And then underneath that hole is a GoPro that's pointing up to uh, these, it's actually hard drive plates. So the GoPro can be inside, stay warm, and be protected from the elements. So far the weather hasn't been that bad. Uh, and, and reflect off of these uh, hard drive plates to see the, um, the sundials there. Really cool, cool idea for Warriors Wally. All right.